Hi folks and welcome back to the shack. This is Joe N2DI today here with five settings for your Zygu G90 to help you hunt POTA stations or to chase soda with CW. The G90 is a great value. You get a lot of radio for the money, but there aren't a ton of advanced features. So uh, these settings should be pretty easy to remember. I'm going to try to keep this video short and sweet. As usual, I'm going to break the video up into chapters so you can easily jump to um, the sections that you want to find quickly. If you find this information useful, please like and subscribe to my channel so other hams can find my video. It won't cost you a thing. Okay, so with that said, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you should consider changing is the CW pitch. I'm finding that a lower pitch makes it easier to dig out weak signals, and the default pitch on the G90 is 800 Hz, which is crazy high in my opinion, and especially painful on the G90 because my only real criticism of this radio is that the audio quality is kind of harsh. Um, so I find turning the pitch down helps a lot. So to change the pitch, you're going to want to press the function button right here. And once you do that, it's going to illuminate this yellow LED to let you know that the next button press will be modified by the function key. So the next button you press here is the key button. You press that repeatedly and watch this section of the screen uh, for the setting that's uh, CW volume. You want to keep pressing that until you get to CW tone, which is your pitch control right there. Now rotate the VFO knob to get to the pitch that you want. Right now it's at four. It was set for 800 hertz. I'm gonna roll it down to 550 hertz. Uh, I suggest trying, I don't know, anything between 500 and 600 hertz works pretty good. Once you get to the uh, tone that you want, the pitch, just press the VFO knob to get out. And now it's set, it's that simple. Okay, now after you do that, the next thing you're going to want to do is center your DSP filter bandwidth around the pitch frequency, and you're going to want to adjust the filter width. So I'll cover that in the next chapter. Okay, for firmware versions up to 1.78 on the Zygu G90, this is how you'll adjust um, your filter center frequency and your um, bandwidth. What you're going to want to do is press the multifunction knob repeatedly until you see the letter C plus some number appear here. Okay, that's your center frequency. Once you get that, you can rotate the VFO knob. I'm sorry, you rotate the multifunction knob and listen to the, the background noise drop away. Well, listen to the pitch drop. You want to match your CW pitch. You want this frequency to match your CW pitch. So I picked 550 hertz, so you rotate that until you get to 550 hertz. Now to change the bandwidth, you repeatedly press the multifunction knob until you get to this letter C will change to B and it'll show you your bandwidth. Okay, so we have B500, which means your filter is 500 hertz wide. So you can rotate this to whatever the situation uh, that you're currently in uh, requires. So let's say you're fighting QRM or something like that, you're going to want to tighten this up. If you have a version higher than 1.78, it's a different method for adjusting this, so I would recommend you consult the documentation on that. Um, but the reason why I'm sticking with this version is because this makes it a lot easier to change your filter bandwidth, which is something that I do constantly. So uh, that's why I'm sticking with 1.78. I also want to mention that if you have a higher version of the firmware and you want to go back to 1.78, it's pretty easy and it doesn't cause any trouble with the system. You basically can load any version of the firmware you want at any time. I've gone from an older version to a newer version, back to an older version, and back again, and it doesn't make any difference. So it's it's safe to do. You just have to follow the documentation and it works well. The next setting that I'm going to talk about is the preamp and the attenuator, and they work like they do on any other radio. Um, they're controlled through this pre button here in the lower left. What you do is, uh, as you press this, it'll cycle from no preamp to preamp to attenuator and then back to neither preamp nor attenuator. So if you look up here in the lower, I'm sorry, in the upper uh, left corner above CW, when I press pre, you'll see a letter P in a white box appear. That means your preamp is on. Press it again and the uh, graphic will switch to an A, which means that you've enabled the attenuator and press it again and now both your preamp and your attenuator are off. And like with any other radio, it usually works best to turn the preamp on your bands 20 meters and up. And the attenuator usually works best on 40 and down. So that is the preamp and attenuator. 
Next, let's talk about the automatic gain control and the RF gain. The recommended setting for CW is to keep the automatic gain control set to fast. The setting here, uh, AGC-S, means it's on slow. You can press the AGC button right here repeatedly to get your automatic gain control to the setting that you want. So fast is the recommended setting, AGC-F. Um, you can try, though, uh, when you encounter a weak signal, if you're having a hard time hearing it, you can try turning the automatic gain control off and manually adjusting the RF gain. That'll help you dig out weak signals, and it's kind of like my go-to move on the G90 for weak signals. So, um, you can do it by turning off the automatic gain control. You just repeatedly press the AGC button until you see AGC with a dash there. That means it's off. And then you could manually change the RF gain. Now, I have my RF gain set to the multifunction knob. You can, you may have it set to something different. So if you want to set it, you press and hold the multifunction knob and rotate that until you get to something that you want to control with it. So in my case, I use the RF gain because I, I tend to change it a lot. So uh, press and hold it, rotate the knob till you get to RF gain, and then hit save. Once you have that, when you rotate the multifunction knob, you'll be changing your gain, and you can see the percentage value right there. So what I do is roll that down, and a lot of times, weak signals will pop out. Um, also, I should mention, before you turn off your automatic gain control, you're probably going to want to turn down your volume, because you're going to get a spike in volume when you do that. So we could try to tune around here and find any weak signals, but I think, unfortunately, we're having a solar storm right now, so I don't hear anything on the bands. So anyway, that's what you would do, right? Keep your automatic gain control off, rotate your RF gain down, uh, and see if the noise flow drops away. You could pick out that those weak signals. All right, so that's your automatic gain control and RF gain. Okay, next we're going to talk about operating split. Let's say you have a tight filter set and you want to call a POTA or a SOTA station that's receiving a pileup. You should call slightly off frequency to stand out from the crowd. And normally you would just rotate your VFO knob to be slightly off frequency. But the problem is if you have a tight filter set, if you rotate off frequency, when the station responds to you, you're not going to hear it. So in that case, we have to operate split on this radio, unfortunately. That's the only way to do it. What you're going to want to do is to basically listen on the uh, POTUS or SOTA station's frequency, but transmit on a slightly different frequency. And to do that in a G90, what you're going to want to do is use your A and B VFO settings. You're going to want to start and make those settings the same. Okay, so right now you can see VFO A is set to 14.060 megahertz, and VFO B is set to 7 megahertz. So you're going to want to press the multifunction button, I'm sorry, the function button, and press uh, this A, B button up here. That's going to match the frequency. So now you can see VFO B went to 14.060, just like VFO A. Okay, now you can press the uh, VFO knob in to get out of the function setting. Then you could switch between VFO A and B by pressing the button again. And you'll see now VFO A is in the bottom and VFO B is in the top. Now VFO B is going to be the frequency you're transmitting on and VFO A is going to be the frequency you're listening on. So what you're going to want to do is get to, let's say, this digit here and be, I don't know, 50 hertz off frequency, something like that. Uh, so set your transmit frequency and then press VFO, uh, press the AB button to switch back to VFO A. So now when you transmit, you'll be uh, 50 hertz off frequency. You'll be listening on 14060, but you'll be transmitting on 140605. Okay. Okay, here is a sixth bonus setting. Um, I know somebody's going to ask how to turn the CW decoder on, so I'll cover it here. The CW decoder on the G90 works as well as others do, honestly, which is not that great. Um, because if your signal fades or you have too much noise, the decoder is not going to be able to understand what characters are being sent, and it's just going to spit out garbage. Um, but to do it, there's basically a couple of recommended settings. Uh, one is to have your automatic gain control set to fast, and the other is to have your bandwidth set to 300 hertz, which I have here. Um, if you're having trouble setting your bandwidth, like I demonstrated, 
go back to the section where I talk about setting your DSP filter and versions. Uh, maybe you have the wrong version. You have a, not a wrong version, but you have a version higher than 1.78. You'll have to change the filter differently. Okay. But once you have uh, your automatic gain control set to fast and you have your bandwidth set to 300 hertz, all you have to do is press and hold the key button. Long press it and you'll see that the bottom of the waterfall disappears and it's replaced with the characters that the uh, radio is decoding. Okay, so that's it. Okay, folks, I hope you found that useful. If you think it was, please like the video and subscribe to my channel so other hams can find my videos. And I wish you all happy hunting and 73.